Yeah, ladies and gentlemen, okay, sorry, it is gentlemen or men. If you see me here, it is about the men's conference, and my name is Wepu, the chairman of men's conference, and my brother here, Chokoch, the official chairman of the Stingy Men Association. Yeah. And we have partnered, we want to ensure that we protect the boy child from torture from the other gender. And remember that from our last conference, the number of Sankras were 200,000 and 200,000. And now we have, they have increased up to 219. Thousand. That's a good number. And from the main conference, we said that there is no bathing for men except on holidays and Sundays only. And the other thing is about men taking selfies and posting on Instagram or Facebook. Men shall never take selfie. Yes, continue my brother. As you have heard, I'm the chairman of the Stingy Men's Association of Kenya. I am Chokoch, or if you like, Buana Ademeako. 254, sorry for that. The first point is fair. Stingy men do not believe in sending fair. In, in in fact, if you have told anything to do with fear, reply with, let me see what I can do. Men are not supposed to... Thank you. Thank you for that. That means I cannot see what I can do, even if I tell you, let me see what I can do. Do you get it? Yes. Men are not supposed to... Kujipaka mafuta. In fact, as a man, you are supposed to apply saliva like this. And you apply. And you are good to go. The only mafuta allowed is arimis. Arimis only. That one you can use for other functions like entertainment. You know, you are getting my point. That point of tangling the monkey. Yeah. Another thing. As you are aware, Valentine's is around the corner. And as we said, you are not supposed to make a girl happy and mama yako analala nja. Hizo ni mambo za wazungu. In fact, many of the parents are sleeping hungry at the expense of this other gender. That is not allowed at all, at all continue my brother okay on 14 it is on a sunday men's all men's we are going to church and after that we are coming back to men's conference to discuss some of the important issue and this is to men there are some special cases where a man known as kinudia Kinudia was watching yeah? oh, Kinudia Chip Chip. Kinudia, this is a funny case. He was spotted by our undercover watching Soap and Maria. Yeah. Wherever you are, you are disqualified from the men's conference. Don't come back. And your days are numbered. Another one is of Kemondio yeah. Njoguna was spotted in town purchasing a boxer. And as you are aware, men are not supposed to wear any boxer. Kemondio don't come back.
and this one is a special case where this young gentleman Njugush from Uetavia on 26th January Njugush alitumiwa fair na demu yake akatumia kubet of which alibeti ya senari na akakuliwa hiyo bet and the other one is about the Manchester United fans we have disqualified you from the men's conference because mukishinda aturari you are not our members and also arsenal you are also disqualified and for the case of aremis that's obvious you know where you can get it and you can get it Thank you, my brother. We also have another special case here where a seven-year-old Alinyonga Akakufa. That boy is a hero and we encourage that as the Stingy Men's Association of Kenya. We also have another case here of a man by the name of Simeo Nangulu who beat his wife for asking money to pay for saloon. <laughs> and the funny thing, Simeo beat his wife. We recommend that as the stingy man for your good work. And for that, Simeo has been given an upgrade and he will become the treasurer of this association. Another case is birthdays. Mwanaume hafai kuwa na birthday. As you know very well, men are not born. They just appear out of nowhere. And they just disappear as they wish. That should not be allowed. If you are caught eating cakes on your birthday, you will be suspended out of this association and you will be forced to Nyonga for eight good years without stopping. Consecutive years. <clears throat> we also as the stingy men believe in this statement to Mia Yako Nitakurifan. This means when you are told to send fare, you should just give excuses and at the end say to Mia Yako Nitakurifan, of which we know very well you will not do that. This case for sending of nudes as men of the Stingy Men's Association, you are not supposed to pay for nudes to be sent. In fact, you are just supposed to subscribe to our various platforms like Pornhub, where you can access this information and pictures at the comfort of your home without any costs, and therefore as you know, the economy is very bad. This money can be used to buy other valuable goods, like Arimis, used to strangle the monkey. Another thing is the case for boxers. We men are not supposed to wear boxers, as my brother said here. And if at all it is necessary, you are just supposed to take a piece of cloth and tie it to your waist for purposes of protecting it from direct sunlight and nothing more, nothing less. Another thing here, a minute my brother, there is a statement here that we use regularly 
where we say that I wish you had told me earlier. This statement has been used one million times all over the country, but that is still not enough. In fact, some of the men here use this statement and end up sending fear, which is not allowed as you are prone to prosecution by the court of arms. Sponsors are not supposed to be helped do their work. What do I mean? I mean that if at all you have a sponsor, you should not accept anything less than a harrier as a locomotive. Failure to that, you will be sued by this association for having gone opposite of our rights as the Stingy Men Association of Kenya. Thank you. You can continue, my brother. Yeah, that point of bathing, remember as a man, you are not supposed to, to use a towel. Instead, you, after, after bathing, what you can do is just you go out there and just sleep facing just sleep there during the sunlight until umekauka another one is that uh, yeah that one still bathing if you are from jengo you are not also supposed to bathe in fact that is a good example you are from Jengo and you have that cemetery. You sleep with it. And we are actually losing our culture as men. Because, why? Because we are not smelling as we are supposed to. I'm trying to mean that you are not supposed to apply any perfumes as a man. You are supposed to smell for example, this is a good example of if you have entered a movie, you know that smell that is found in those movies. That's how you are supposed to smell as a man. Ama unanuka jasho. In short. And there is this man, 65 year old, who is a stupid hero who died while having doing the marriage thing with this girl just go to hell yeah there is also another case here before we finish which is a special case by the way of a man by the name of Kamau Wagedomo from Ruiru who sangled his monkey Kakakufa. We recommend your good work. In fact, as we talk, he is dead for doing that. We recommend your good work of keeping up with the culture of this association. And we would like to respect you with a song that you really liked when you are alive. We'll sing that song, but before that, there is something you would like to say. Yes, that point of sankling, actually the reading sankra here, he has 2,900 2, points. And we want to say that if you are going to beat this record, that first these 2,900 sankling, means that this man has sunk a total number of 2,900 times. If anyone is going to beat this record, we are going to give you just something good. And we are also, uh, we are also making sure that the Kunyonga thing is coming, that is the Arumis, we have ordered some bags from our neighbors, a million of them, they are coming soon.
And on that note, we'd like to finish this meeting with a song that Kamau Wagedomo really loved. And it goes something like this. Nyonga, nyonga, nyonga mbaka kakufe. Nyonga, mina nyonga, mina nyonga hadi kakufe. Na mafuta, nyonga, ya kupika, nyonga, na ya cha, nyonga hadi kakufe. Nyonga, mina nyonga, hadi kakufe kabisa. Ndugu yangu, nyonga, kaka yangu, nyonga, usi wate, nyonga. Adi kakufe Nyonga mimi na nyonga Mina nyonga Adi kakufe Nyonya 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 Yes, that's our new song known as Usiwacha kunyonga Thank you very much And any questions from the press? Yes, Bona Chairman, I have a uh, very few questions for you today. Uh, my first question is, you said there's no sending me fair. But what about uh, men who reverse me fair? Surely, how fair is this? My second question is, are you aware of the rival, rival group called the Stingy Women Association, whose motto goes by Akin Nyesha? What is the impact of this group to the men's conference and the Stingy Men's Association? My third question goes to you, Mr. Chairman. What do you tell our fellow men out there who are not broken? Uh, my fourth question goes to you, Mr. Um, someone just tweeted, Kevin from Pico. He says, uh, my fellow friend who is a boy keeps on telling me good night and wishes me sweet dreams. Surely, how do I deal with such an issue? Is it acceptable by the courts of ethics of the men's conference and the stingy men's association? My last question is, um, from a rate of 1 to 10, how hurting is this statement? So, who could you? Thank you. Okay. I will answer the first two and leave the others to my brother here. On that question of what do you do when a man when a man tells you good night and sweet dreams, first of all, you know very well, we as men are not supposed to tell each other good night. And Kesho is enough where you say, Tapatana Kesho. But if a man tells you good night, we as the Stingy Men Association of Kenya, we have hardwares across the country where you can purchase pangas and slashers to deal with that person seriously. And no action will be taken against you because you are fighting for your rights. The government will not be able to pay for the damages caused if you accept this statement regularly because they will want to penetrate you and it is not acceptable. Also on that case of what if you are told Akina Nyesha and which is the main motto for the Stingy Women Association, that is acceptable. But we know very well Hakuna Mvua in Anyesha na Hiish Haish. This rain will come to an end and unless there are floods, you can wait for another day. We are not supposed to just stay there, move on and wait for the rain to end until when you can call her. Thank you. Continue. Yes. May you please re repeat your question? Actually, I find these two connecting. As a man, you cannot be at broken. Remember that we said 
mwanaume hafai this means mwanaume hata hafai kuwa na hiyo roho ambayo inavunjwa so no heart breaks for men and so ukuji actually to be honest this statement hurts it is a point where you are expecting your madam to come and she tells you that maybe when you are chatting with her she say you are frustrated and you ask her so hukuji to be honest it is hurting but for men mwanaume afai afai kukua hat broken yes any any other okay sir just before we end this um there's one lady from pika uh -huh. saying she's watching this conference live and she wants to tell fellow women out there that um, this is valentine season so from today uh, we shall not be accepting any calls or replying to any texts that do not start with the word manchester united thank you on that case <clears throat> as you know Manchester United is mostly your mama. And that's why I said Manchester United are no longer the part of men's conference. Kwa sababu wako na umama wakishinda turari. Okay, and what I will add men to do right away is that you switch your phones off and hide your last seen online. And we see each other after the church service the church service when we are heading to men's conference and those message from your sweetheart you will handle them on 16 that is where we that's when we will allow men to come back online to continue lying to these ladies thank you